Y'all, so it looks like Nicki Minaj's beef with the Carters is still very hot because Nicki just dragged them for filth for trying to ruin her career and deliberately sabotage her. The tension between Nicki and the Carters has been bubbling under the surface for a minute now, but things really started to boil over a few months ago when Nicki accused the Carters of allegedly signing Meg the Stallion just because they wanted to make Megan into the new Nicki and overthrow her as the queen of rap. And let's not forget about when Nicki claimed that rock. Nation was out here sponsoring hate attacks towards her. Well, now it seems like the Carters have allegedly taken things up a notch by coming for Nicki's coin. This drama is way too juicy to ignore because you know Nicki Minaj is going to fight back against them with all her barbs to expose their shady behavior. Looks like Nicki is finally ready to spill all the tea in this situation. And y'all looks like Beyonce did her dirty big time, so let's spill all the tea now. Nicki's drama with Beyonce flared up again recently, when the VM announced Make the Stand as this year's host. And let's just say it got people talking. Everybody assumed that Nicki would host again, especially since she's been holding down the VMAs for the past couple of years. So when Megan was revealed as the new host, everybody started talking about Nikki's rant about how Beyonce and Jay-Z are out to get her. And we're not so crazy after all, so she might have been saying some real stuff. And for a long time, people thought she was just doing too much and trying to cause problems for Beyonce out of jealousy. So for, for those of you who need a refresher, Nikki's got history with Meg, Beyonce, and Jay-Z. And it's not a pretty history. You probably remember the whole mess when Megan dropped her song Hiss, which had Nicki going off on social media for days. The song went to number one, and it was probably boosted by Nicki's rant and how she went on and on with Megan over these not so subtle discs. But Megan threw her way in the song now at the time we thought that the beef was just between Nicki and Megan. But what we know now is that Beyonce and Jay-Z were involved as well. Allegedly, now Nicki's beef with Beyonce and Jay-Z goes way back longer than most people realize. There was a time when Nicki and Beyonce were super close collaborating on iconic tracks like F Myself and Flawless, the remix. But somewhere along the line, things started to change even. Though they haven't had any public blowouts, fans have picked up on some subtle shade between Nicki and Beyonce. The tension is in front and center, but it definitely is simmering underneath the surface. For example, her song with Dio a Cat Say So, Nikki said, Why you talking? About who buy fake with all them fillers in your face. You just full of hate, the real butt, and keep your ninja home. Now you looking silly. That's war to silicone. And fans couldn't help but find it odd when Nikki started shading Beyonce. But what really got people buzzing? was how this drama kicked off just weeks after Beyonce hopped on the remix of Megan's hit Savage, with Nicki and Megan already on shaky ground at the time. And it didn't take long for fans to put two and two together to see what was going on on and y'all know that when Nicki starts in on someone, she doesn't stop until she said her piece. Because that was not the last time. Nicki was accused of shading Beyonce. Because in the song Press Play, she named Y Beyonce saying, They say why you can't Beyonce, daddy with no businessmen, mama with no business owner. H, what an idiot, you can't be me, I'm already itch. And guess what Beyonce's mommy and daddy were business owners. And that's when it seemed like Nikki started distancing herself from Beyonce. Once B got close to Megan and Cardi. And let's be real, Beyonce doesn't do bad press, especially with Nikki's name being dragged recently due to her husband's actions. So it wouldn't be surprising if Queen Bee decided to keep her distance to that. Makes some sense, right? But apparently Nikki wasn't too thrilled about it. And things only got messy. When her ongoing feud with Megan, who signed to Rock Nation, when Nikki went off on Megan, she didn't hesitate to call out The Rock several times, accusing them of trying to sabotage. For in her first tweet, she accused Megan of being bold because she knows that she's backed by Rock Nation. She said, B thinks she a bully cause she got a Rock Nation brunch every year. Be mad at party. He told, all your tea, but you taking shots at my family. Get up on your good foot. Go apologize to your mother and nasty serpent. She also posted a screenshot of an ad by Rock Nation on Twitter where they were promoting Megan's song hits. And she said spending so much money and she's the little 
broke independent artist, Desiree. You got to let it go, baby. The world knows she's ass and can't rap. Stop trying to make fetch happen. I just put out a song with no promo, no video. It's already number two. She also threatened to expose Desiree Perez, who was the CEO of Rock Nation for firing people without good reason, and also spending millions of dollars to prop Megan up to be the next. Nicki Minaj, because just can't stand how successful Nicki is. And they want to take her down a notch at all costs, she tweeted on the next song. I delve into all the people Desiree allegedly fired for unknown reasons, other things as well. So many people were blindsided and hurt by her allegedly. She's willing to go broke to try to replace me fix it Jesus. But this drama doesn't stop with Miss Beyonce either. Nikki's got beef with Jay-Z too. Rumor has it that Nikki has a sole reason to be mad at Jay-Z and Rock. Nation cuz, they have allegedly helped Meek Mill cover up the fact that he laid hands on her back when they were together. A lot of people think that Nikki is just jealous because Beyonce and Jay-Z picked Mag the Stallion as their protege invested millions of dollars into her butt in. Reality, that's not even where the drama started it started, because Rock Nation allegedly helped her ex-boyfriend, Meek Mill, get away with putting hands on her and deeding her while they were together fast forward a couple years after she and Meek Mill broke up and announced that she was working on a doku series about her life called Queen the Documentary. But word on the streets is that someone from Rock Nation reached out and made sure she cut out the parts where Meek was being cruel and putting his hands on her and they didn't want her. Making him look bad, well, HBO eventually canelled the documentary. But NCK posted a S from the already filmed footage where she talks about how she was badly treated by an ex. My mother um, would let my father um, be violent with her. And she always brings up the story as a little girl I would come in front of I would stand in front of my mother and go like this mm -hmm. and I vowed like that's why I'm like maybe some people would describe me as abrasive or bitchy or whatever because I vowed from that age no man would ever abuse me call me out my name treat me like that and then all of a sudden that was my life. Now though Nikki didn't name names, Meek Mill definitely caught the hint and hit her with the cease and theist letter, trying to shut down any talk about the situation. And this only fueled Nikki's anger, and she went off on him. She tweeted you a clown you do it. For likes Twitter, fingers beat women, scared of men. You beat your own sister, and taped it spit on her, and taped it kick me in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital, sucking Drake's D made you feel tough again, move on you can never stand, on your own. You was around, you know, see you soon. It's no surprise that Nikki's still holding on to a grudge against Jay-Z, while Nikki has been vocal about her feelings. Jay-Z and Beyonce have been very quiet, but fans are beginning to think that Nikki might be on to. Something believing that Rock Nation could be out to get her last year. When Nikki hosted the BMS, she made an interesting comment hinting that someone had pressured MTV into dropping her. Listen, real quick, MTV is petrified because they got a couple calls yesterday and, and people were saying, what if Nikki says this and if Nikki says that? And they, and, and, and MTV, and, and, and you know, and I said, it's okay MTV, I can control myself. <laughs> 